Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I'm going to be going over all of the fragrances that I just decluttered from my collection. Uh, I'm going to try to get this video posted before I get them posted on Mercari in case any of you, any of you guys are interested because I know last time um, I filmed a declutter video but I went ahead and listed all of this stuff on Mercari before I posted the video. Um, some people were quite upset that they didn't know that all of that stuff had been posted. So I'm going to try to do better this time and post the video first before I start listing. So anyways, I have got a ton here. This may end up being a two-parter. I'm going to try to go quickly. If I can get through them quick enough, then um, I'll try and fit it all in this one video, but I do have a ton. So Let's just jump right in. Before I start though, I do just want to give a disclaimer. Um, some people get really upset by declutter videos because they see fragrance reviewers decluttering fragrances that we have said that we liked. And I just want to say that just because I'm decluttering a fragrance does not mean that I don't like it. Um, I just happen to have so many fragrances and usually when I declutter it's because something didn't work with my body chemistry. It just didn't work for me, but that doesn't mean I didn't like it or I've just got other things that smell like it and I just don't need two and three perfumes in my collection that all smell like the same thing. Um, and I also have, a, I've just gone on like an ordering spree and I've got a ton of perfume coming to me. So I need to get, I need to move some out so I can get ready for some new to come in. So um, with that being said, I'm gonna jump right in. I've got a ton. The first one that I am decluttering is this Korloff uh, Gala a la Opera. And this, this is a really beautiful, like fruity kind of gourmand. It reminds me of something like black opium or it's, it's not like a dupe for black opium or anything, don't get me wrong, but it's that kind of a fragrance. And I just have so many fragrances like that in my collection. Something's got to go. And I just found myself never reaching for this. And I think somebody else would really enjoy it and would actually get use out of it. So that one is, I'm just going to declutter it. So that is Korloff Gala a la Opera. The next one is one that I'm decluttering because I just don't ever reach for it. I have never really found an occasion for this fragrance and because of that I'm just going to declutter it. This is an Etro fragrance and this is uh, called Marquetry and this is actually a really beautiful fragrance. Um, this is not a safe blind buy though. I would, I would not recommend just buying this outright unless unless you know you like fragrances like this. Um, this has a vintage feel to it. Um, let me see if I can... Okay, this is bergamot, lavender, peach, rose, tobacco, tonka bean, galvanum, and Peruvian balsam. So it's, it's definitely, like I say, it has a vintage vibe, but it's stunning. It's beautiful, it's so well made, it lasts on the skin beautifully, and the dry down on this one is stunning. I just never really had an occasion to wear this because it's not something I could wear to work. Um, it's not a people pleaser, it's, my husband doesn't like it, so it's just not one that I'm ever gonna end up reaching for, though it is gorgeous. So that is Etro Marquetry. And that one, um, like I say, that one will come box because I did keep the box. Ooh, I've got a lot, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is one you would have just seen me haul. This is Vera Wang Glam Princess. This just did not work for me. Um, I tried it on my skin and it actually ended up smelling even worse on my skin. It smelled like a really bad hairspray on me. So that one's got to go. That is Vera Wang Glam Princess. This next one is another one that I've used quite a bit in the past. I'm just not finding myself reaching for it anymore because I typically um, would use this one to layer with and I'm not doing a lot of layering these days. I just don't have the time for it. So this is Serge Luton's Five O'Clock Eau Gingembre and this is really beautiful but I would have to layer this one because it is quite masculine leaning. It's spicy, it's nice, it's a beautiful fragrance. I mean, it's Serge Luton's, but anyway, so that one is gonna go, that's just a partial bottle, so. 
Okay, the next one is, this is DKNYB Delicious, Delicious Night. This is one that I picked up thinking that I would like it, um, and I just don't. This is kind of that patchouli floral, um, and you'll see a couple of fragrances like this where they're kind of like that fruit chuli type fragrance, and I am not a fan of fruit chulis at all. So um, if you're a fan of fragrances like Jimmy Choo, um, like the original Jimmy Choo, Flower Bomb, things like that, you would probably like this, but I am not a fan of any of those types of fragrances, so that, uh, this was a no-go for me. So that is DKNY uh, Be Delicious, Delicious Night. Okay, another one is uh, the Body Shop Black Musk. Now, this is a gorgeous fragrance. This is like a good alternative to Black Opium or something like that. It's beautiful. It's like, it smells, yeah, it smells a lot like Black Opium. It's really, really beautiful. I think it even has maybe a coffee note in it like Black Opium if I remember correctly, but it reminds me a whole ton of black opium. I've already got, it's like, you know, it's like the Gala Ala Opera as well. These are kind of similar. So um, I just don't need 10 fragrances in my collection like that because I do have black opium and that's plenty. So anyways, that is Black Musk from the Body Shop. Ugh, this next one, I am gutted about this, but I have come to realize that a lot of these fragrances just don't work with my skin chemistry. This is a Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal, and this is a beautiful honey sorry, honey and orange blossom fragrance, and I love how it smells in the bottle, but this does something really, really weird on my skin. It ends up almost going metallic on my skin, and it's something... It's something about that honey and orange blossom combination that goes metallic on me. It's my skin chemistry though because this is a stunning fragrance and I adore how it smells out of the bottle but it just doesn't work on me so I'm having to let go of that one. Okay, this next one is a Dua fragrance and this is another one that's just not working well with my chemistry. This is Femme Fatale which is a dupe or a clone of um, the original formulation of Gris Dior. So it's a really beautiful fragrance. This just does not work well with my skin chemistry though, but this lasts a really long time and it's a duo fragrance. So the quality is definitely there. Um, okay. We're going to go through some of the ganache fragrances that I just picked up, but these are ones that I know I'm not going to reach for, or I've got something else that smells like them. So the first one is cozy and this one um, I have another, I've got like, I don't know, eight or 10 other ganache fragrances already in my collection. And this one smells almost exactly like, um, it smells a lot like sweet sticky things. I think if that's the one I'm remembering correctly, but it smells just like it. So, or a lot like it. So I don't, I just don't need this. I don't need two things that smell like that. Um, so that's cozy. Uh, this next one, same thing. I have, I already have lemon eclair in my, fra in my, uh, this is lemon cream. And I already have lemon eclair in my collection. I also have Zara's, uh, a sweet pastry in Paris. And they're all, they're very, very similar. So, um, I'm going to let this one go because I don't need that many <laughs> fragrances that smell like that. And this next one just did not work with my chemistry. This one is called Hug and... Like I say, this one just did something weird with my skin chemistry. It smells beautiful. It's sweet and yummy, and I will try to get the notes listed on Mercari. Um, but yeah, that one's called Hug. Beautiful, just didn't work with my skin chemistry. The next one is Stung. Um, this is a beautiful honey fragrance. But when I tested this, again, it just didn't work with my skin chemistry. Something in it smelled really off on me. But out of the bottle, it smells amazing. It's a beautiful honey fragrance. So anyways, that is Stung. Okay, the next one, this is called Sonora from Ajmal. And again, this is one of those kind of um, musky, fruit chuli type fragrances. Uh, 
This one reminds me a little bit of Narcissa Rodriguez. It's kind of got that musky floral thing going. It's just not my favorite. I'm not a fan of the Narcisso uh, line of fragrances. Well, I know the original, like the EDP and the EDT, I don't really love. Um, the musk one is okay. I need to test a lot more of them. It, but this one reminds me kind of along those lines. So because of it, I just am not a huge fan. So that is Ajmal Sonora. Beautiful fragrance, though. This next one is one that is, after I tested it, um, yeah, after I tested it, this one just leaned a little bit too masculine on my skin, though it is a gorgeous fragrance. This is uh, La Temperance from Dolce & Gabbana from the Anthology line. It is really beautiful, but I will never reach for it because it goes kind of masculine on me, so that is that one. The next one is a guest fragrance. This is Guest Seductive Noir, and this is a beautiful fragrance, but it really does smell a lot like Mon Guerlain, and I already have two different versions, three different versions of Mon Guerlain, so I don't need this. I don't need something else that smells like this, though this is beautiful. This is such a stunning fragrance, but I just don't need it in my collection. Gorgeous. But yeah, so that is Guest Seductive Noir. Okay, the next one is a Larive fragrance, and there's nothing wrong with this fragrance. I just don't care for it, and I don't care for the original, so there's no surprise there. This is Larive Taste of Kiss, and this smells, a, well, just like... Or La Nuit Tresor it smells just like it. So, um, and I'm not a fan of those. So this is, and it smells exactly like it. So this one's gotta go. Okay, next is another body shop fragrance, and this is called Nigratella. This is Oriental Orchid, and this smells. This smells very similar to Hypnotic Poison. It's that kind of a fragrance. It's like a root beery, like a fizzy root beer type fragrance. And I've already got Hypnotic Poison. I've got um, a dupe. I've got two bottles of Hypnotic Poison. I've got Sweet Hope, which is a dupe for Hypnotic Poison, and I've got Alia Blanche, which also smells like Hypnotic Poison. So this just needs to go. I don't need it. Okay. Oh, my battery's gonna die. So I'm gonna try and get through this before it does. So. This next one is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. Um, this is gorgeous, and a lot of people say that this smells like Burberry for women, and it does. It smells a lot like it, and it smells a lot like the original formulation of Burberry women, or Burberry for women. And so because I just got that original formulation bottle of Burberry, I don't need this anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pass this one along. The next one is a rose fragrance, and this one, it's gorgeous. I love it, but the longevity on this one wasn't great for me, and I've got so many rose fragrances in my collection. I just did not need this. This is... Oh, it's so good, though. Oh, it's beautiful. This is Ferre Rose, and it's a beautiful shampoo rose fragrance, but again, I've got so many rose fragrances at this point, and the only reason this one is going and not something else is because this bottle is so huge to store. So I said, you know what? I've got probably 10 other fragrances that smell like this. This bottle is absolutely enormous, so it's got to go. So that is Ferre Rose. The next one is the original formulation of Sarah Jessica Parker Covet, which is a very interesting fragrance. I'm not going to spray this one because, like I say, it is the original formulation and it is a partial bottle, so I want to give, I want to send this to somebody with as much liquid as possible in it. But this is just a strange fragrance. I never reach for it. I don't really like it that much, and there's no reason to hold on to it, especially because it is an original formulation bottle. So um, I would like to pass that along to somebody who actually really, really wants it. The next one is a Selena Gomez fragrance. And to me, this smells a lot like, um, Vic yeah, Victoria's Secret Love Spell, which I've never liked that fragrance. Yeah, I just don't. There's something about it that just 
oh, it's screechy to me. It gets in the back of my throat and makes me want to vomit. It makes me nauseous. So it's a beautiful fragrance though. And if you like Victoria's Secret Love Spell, you would really, really like this. And this is really good quality for being a celebrity fragrance. It lasts really, really well on the skin. So that is Selena Gomez. Okay, next we have got a Vince Camuto fragrance. I just don't reach for this ever. This is the original Vince Camuto. It's a gorgeous rum fragrance, but I just never ever reach for it, so it's gotta go. Next is another beautiful La Perla fragrance. This is the only one from this collection that I kept. This is the La Perla collection, and this is called White Iris, and it's a gorgeous, like, makeup-y, powdery iris fragrance, but I don't reach for these types of fragrances often. Um, the only time I would wear this would be to bed, and I've got other iris fragrances that I prefer, so um, like the Penn Halligan's Iris Prima, um, so I just don't need it. Gorgeous fragrance, though. Okay, next we have this Armoff Niche uh, Pink Coral. I basically bought this to compare it to Chanel... Uh, yeah, Chanel Coco Noir. Um, and again, it's like a musky, flat, it's like a fruit chuli, like musky, floral, the type of fragrance that I don't like. So that one's going to go. Okay, the next one, this is a gorgeous fragrance and I just wore this on Christmas, but something about it didn't sit right with me the whole day and I knew when I finally did do a declutter, I was going to declutter it. This is Kiss Me Intense from Nikolai Parfumers and or, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful powdery almond fragrance, but something about it just did not work well with me. So I love how it smells out of the bottle, but on my skin, it just did something strange. Ugh, it is a gorgeous powdery almond fragrance though. So that is Kiss Me Intense from Nikolai Parfumer. The next one is another one that this was hard for me because I want to keep this. The collector in me wants to keep this because this fragrance has been discontinued, but I never, ever reach for it, so there's literally no reason to hang on to this. This is Tom Ford White Patchouli. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful patchouli fragrance, but I never reach for it, and it's one of those I have to really be in the mood to wear, and there is the off chance that it's going to make me nauseous, so, or be kind of headache-inducing, so I don't need to hang on to it. So that is Tom Ford White Patchouli. Okay, next we've got a MAC fragrance. This is MAC Velvet Teddy, and this is a good alternative for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini. But I have an Alexandria fragrance uh, that is a tobacco, it's like a sweet honey tobacco fragrance that I just prefer over this one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's gorgeous. It smells amazing. But I've got um, the Alexandria one as well as the um, Elizabeth and James. I think it's the Nirvana Amethyst that's also a beautiful sweet tobacco fragrance. And I just don't need that many tobacco fragrances. So... Mac Velvet Teddy's got to go. Okay, next we have got um, a celebrity fragrance. This is Lady Gaga Eau de Gaga, and I just never reached for this. I don't think I've reached for it in two years. So because of that, it's just like with clothing. If I don't wear something for a year, I've got to let go of it. If I don't reach for something in like a couple years, I've got to let go of it. So that is Eau de Gaga. Okay, this next one I've been hanging on to just because the bottle is so beautiful. This is a Swiss Arabian fragrance, and this is Swiss Arabian Leali. This is the spray perfume, not the oil. And this is a beautiful, like, clean laundry type fragrance, but I never, ever reach for it. So, um, and I haven't reached for it in a couple of years. So, again, it's got to go, and I can't hang on to it just because the bottle is stunning. So, yeah, that's got to go. Uh, the next one is a Steve Madden fragrance. This is called We Need to Talk. This one smells beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's unremarkable. 
and it doesn't have the best lasting power in the world like I can't wear it to work so there's no reason to hang on to it so that is Steve Madden we need to talk okay this next one is a tuberose fragrance this is Alexander McQueen Eau Blanche and I already have the original Alexander McQueen perfume smells very much like this I don't need both of them it's this is a like a later version of the McQueen fragrance so I just don't need both of them this is beautiful though it's a beautiful lovely tuberose um, so that is McQueen Eau Blanche this is another one that I, I keep hanging on to this because I love how it smells in the bottle but I never ever reach for it I don't know that I ever have it's stunning but it's just not really my style so that is a Jill Sander Sun. Okay, let's see here. The next one I'm gonna sell as a set. These are Rituals fragrances, and um, yeah, they're just a little set of 10 mil Rituals fragrances. Uh, these, this one has hardly been used at all. This one's been used like once. This one's been used a couple times, but um, yeah, I just never ever reach for them because they don't have the best lasting power and I just never find an occasion to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and pass those along. Okay, and then th we're getting towards the end here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and declutter all of those Jenny Glow fragrances I just picked up because I've got stuff that smells like them, like every single one of them. And one of them, I've got another fragrance. Um, that's exactly like it. So the dark amber smells beautiful, but this one leans a little bit too masculine for my liking. Um, the myrrh and bean was my favorite and it is a stunner, but I already have a layered fragrance called uh, Eve's Perfume, I think is what it's called. And it smells exactly like it. So there's no reason for me to have two. Um, the next one is the sandalwood. This is beautiful too, but I've already got something else that smells like it, so I just don't need to hang on to that. The pomegranate noir, or pomegranate. This one is beautiful, but this one leans a little bit masculine on my skin as well, and because of that, I'm just gonna let that one go. And then the last one is mimosa and cardamom, and this one, it smells beautiful in the bottle, but this one did that hairspray thing on my body as well. Like my chemistry just didn't work well with it. It ended up smelling, um, it ended up smelling like hairspray on me. So that is the mimosa cardamom. Okay, and then the last things we've got here are travel sprays. Um, I'm going to declutter this Versace Bright Crystal Intense. Uh, this is a beautiful like shampoo-y smelling fragrance, but it didn't smell good on my skin. Um, so I'm glad I tested it first. Uh, the next one is Mansara Amber and Roses. This one was terrible on my skin. It was, just was not good. So I'm glad I tested that one as well. Uh, the next one is Roses de Chloe. I just don't need this. Um, I've got like, well, as you guys have seen, I've got over 30 rose perfumes, so I just don't need this. Um, I'm not going to buy a full bottle of it either. So I'm just going to pass that along. The next one is the Royal Rose from Juicy Couture. Uh, this one was really, really similar to the Majestic Woods, but with a little bit of a rose hint added. Um, I'm going to keep the Majestic Woods because I really like that one, but I don't need this one. And then last but not least, we have got Montel Paris So Amber, and this one I actually really love. It's gorgeous, but it's got that metallic musk in the background that I can't tolerate. So. Uh, because of that, that one's going to go. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I wish I could show you this huge pile in front of me because I am decluttering so, so many fragrances. I mean, at least, I've got at least 30 fragrances here. I'm really proud of myself. And yeah, I may even go further. We'll see. But um, these will all be up on, Merc on my Mercari sometime this week. If you're interested, just keep your eye out. I will get them listed. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye!